All right, uh, same test on this Yanmar 2GM. Uh, now testing the uh, number one injector. I've uh, pulled it out and uh, installed it upside down to do an external rocket test. See if it will uh, fire correctly when I turn over the engine by hand. Now, uh, you might wonder how hard it is to get these out. Well, um, it's, it's easy, but it can be uh, dangerous. Um, the way I got these out is I loosened off this uh, retaining bracket here. Uh, and that just pops right off. That's easy to get off, but the injector itself then has to be uh, pulled right out. And you don't want to put too much pressure on it. It can be quite hard to pull out. Uh, so what I did is I put down the compression lever for that number one cylinder and left the number two open and uh, hand cranked it over and the compression uh, of the engine itself caused it to pop out. Um, but I probably should have thought it through better and had something to catch it because it popped out with such force it bounced off the cabin roof. <laughs> Uh, luckily, it, it landed softly <laughs> on the cabin sole. Um, anyhow, uh, so that's installed again now, and if we turn it over, we should see that there's a jet of vaporized diesel. That comes out. Yes, there is. There is, but the spray pattern for this one doesn't look as good as the previous. The uh, <clears throat> number two cylinder had a, a nice clean cylindrical spray pattern uh, this one uh, seems to be irregular and uh, that's probably because of all this carbon buildup on uh, the face of the injector <laughs> 